can take an emotional toll. Um, investing into these families, investing into these patients, um, uh, as we do. 250 characters, 20 tweets, and a Twitter thread. It's a lengthy message serving as a glimpse inside a medical ICU treating COVID-19 patients. It came from the point of view of an IU Health resident chaplain. Our Nikki Dementri spoke with Rabbi Mike Harvey this afternoon. So I'll read, a, I'll read a few. Rabbi Mike Harvey is a resident hospital chaplain. So what is it like walking down the halls of the pods of the ICU? On Sunday, he took to social media in a 20-tweet thread. One of the things I wanted to paint a picture of was the view inside that unit that often people aren't able to see. That unit is the medical ICU at IU Health University Hospital. It's where through his residency, Harvey spends most of his time. Many of the patients he sees are COVID-19 positive. In this thread, Harvey writes, quote, my unit is where the sickest of the sick come in the state. We're looking for that light at the end of the tunnel and it's not quite there. Immunocompromised and vaccinated or unvaccinated, Harvey says the backstory doesn't matter. The team is there to provide care. Harvey balances faith and medicine. They tell us to try to pray. Can you imagine sitting in my PPE gear, my N95 pinching my face, my face shield fogging up, my gloves tight on my hands. The resident chaplain provides spiritual support for not only families and patients, but for staff. Was he vaccinated? I ask. I've stopped asking, she says. Either answer makes me upset. She's right. Burnout, Harvey says, is something he sees daily and experiences himself. The team builds relationships with the families, and when a patient passes, the pain is felt throughout the floor. That in itself would be hard, but the fact that a few hours later, that room empties and then is replaced with someone else, we don't have a lot of time to process and more. Even through the darkest days, Harvey feels it's an honor to serve his patients and team members. He hopes his tweets shared the human factor behind the virus. No one in the ICU expected to be there. That's not something that we see. Everyone's unexpectedly there. And so, you know, do do the what what is recommended so that you don't, God forbid, end up under my care. Working for you. Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Well, empathy, compassion, and follow the guidance. It's all Harvey's call to action for the community. He says it's, quote, his hope and prayer the community remembers the people in the hospital are more than just a number. They're real people, and some are dying. Families are grieving, and they're scared, end quote.